Hey guys, it's Working Bears, and welcome back to my Viva 18 secondary career mode. And I now know, or I think I know, I think I have the right pronunciation of the team's name. Shamwa Ni Hotais. I don't know how reliable that pronunciation is because I'm getting it off of Google. So, if that's not right, blame Google. But that is what Google says. That is how Google will um, translate our lady thing. You know, you can, if you, if you put a translation into Google, you can, like, listen to how they pronounce it. So they have a, a lady voice who says how it's pronounced, apparently. Yeah. So... Shamwa Neotais. Martin Tyler here with you as usual and delighted to have the company of Alan Smith. Thank you, Martin. It's a pleasure to be here. I mean, it's good that I have something. There's only one winner, isn't there? Like, versus bottom clash. This has been practically my uh, favourite phase phrase uh, all day. Something is better than nothing. Looking good, the reason feeling good. I've been they saying that. Win recently in their last game actually, got, against Valenciennes. Yeah, good game. Place I will be doing my work uh, I think experience. The confidence that they would have gained from that will will be enough here. Loic Dakini, the referee in charge today. Sorted. So, yeah. Here we are. The start of the match. No thanks to my college, who were as useful as a glass hammer. But, you know, it's it's sorting now. And they've got natural wide players in that front three with a central striker. I think that's the key because those lads on the flanks, it's quite a complicated job, actually, because they've got to come inside, support the centre. We move on. Also got to funnel back when they haven't got the ball. So and we, an onus we on focus them. on... ...the career mode. In the first well, game the manager, is against Paris FC. In transfer market, and he's uh, that that's pretty much the only thing that happened on deadline day. You can see the yep. player uh, they, they're yeah, talking about up in the corner. For uh, Sands. Probably not how you pronounce it. Uh, but uh, that, I got an offer play. from Paris to FC. He, which PSG are trying to rename themselves as. Daba. As. Why, I don't know. I mean, if, if PSG really wants the name, they could just buy these this team and say, and, you know, merge them with, away. you know, the PSG second team. Hmm. I mean, they, they, they pay 222 million for Neymar and well, they could near 200 million for Mbappe as well. Well, which they did. They did pay it. Don't tell me. The oh, they're loaning him and paying it. That's, That's complete bullshit. We are. Well, no. Oh, how P That's PSG's little lie just to. So, oh, that EA don't come around. When the rain comes down. Or FIFA, uh, I should say. Don't come around and start sni does, snooping it? around like for, because, uh, for the financial fair play, I mean, more chances in the box which the, uh, is a big hunk of shit anyway. I mean, I, I, if I were PSG, I wouldn't be worried because I, I would constantly break it because you, it's nothing. It, I've, I've talked about this before. I think I talked about this in my first, in my Liverpool career movie or when I talked about the transfers to happen in real life you may as well break financial fair play because it doesn't matter look at the teams that have broken it in the past PSG have broken it in the past what happened did they get a points deduction they got no they got a practically a slap on the wrist I don't know why I actually tapped my wrist but I, I did if you guys did not see that that's which here, makes it pointless, it. but I, I did it anyway. Whatever. Well, it's, uh, it's kind but of that you, you can endure during the course of a season, but I just want to make sure it doesn't go on for too long. Why? Why should anyone take the financial fair play rules seriously? Why should a team worry 
Oh, well we can only spend this much before the, or, or we might risk uh, coming into uh, problems with the financial fair play rule. Right on the spot no, just just spend whatever money you can. Spend all the money you need. EA don't the the rules of the financial fair play. It, it may as well not exist so because all you get, help. all happens is a slap on the wrist. Nothing happens severely to the PSG. Nothing severely has happened to Real Madrid or Man City or Man United or Chelsea. He, player alongside. he helped even Liverpool, bro. He would break it if we bought all the shite we bought in the past in like one transfer window. And, whew, that would be a scary jump. thought. And Everton, Everton spent a lot of money. Can you imagine if... Yeah, I, I know they got the money in from Lukaku, who which is... Which probably helps shut off keep them well in within their range in terms of the financial fair play. Anyway, but imagine if they didn't. Imagine if, if they didn't get that money. Even if they broke the financial fair play, what would have realistically happened? Nothing. It would have been a slap on the wrist. That's all. The rule is a piece of shit. It doesn't matter. Teams. Well, the referee has signaled for half time, and it's one nil here. Really, keep within the rules. But if I were a manager, if I took over a team tomorrow, I'd say. You know, we're just going to not pay any attention to the financial fair play rules. Because if, if, if there's no severe f f um, and they kick severe off. punishment, the the why should we care? You know, if we keep improving our team and we keep winning trophies, you know, we get that money back anyway. Anticipated the direction of the pass and was able to intervene. Like... A fine and mm, or whatever. That's that's the best they can come up with. Maybe maybe it's a, a step program where you go. Know, if you break it once, you get a slap on the wrist. But if you break it again, and then it becomes more severe. I don't know. Maybe it is. But surely. If you could get away with it once, you could spend whatever the hell you want one time. And you, they give you the slap on the wrist. This, but by that time, you have the players you need. Come away with the ball, clean it. Great tackle. And the fine isn't gonna do that much to you. The opposition with pace. Who or whatever they do for the slap on the wrist. I don't know the full details on it. Oh, oh, PSG. Man City and someone else. I can't think who it was, but I know there was like three teams who've broken it in the past, and all they got were a slap on the wrist. Uh, people are wondering, hello, uh, what about the financial fair play? Well, do they mean anything? Nope. So, realistically, Liverpool have never broken it. If you're in the club, Decided to spend half a billion to a billion next summer window on players. He would break the financial fair play rule. But since it would be our first time doing it, we'd get a, pro a fine and whatever else they give for the first event. He's got some room out here in the wide position. And. You know, like, it goes along the ground. Yeah, but Liverpool still have all these really good players. There's the team looks much better now. Well, well they look like they could easily he can be in the perm. He held it. With the, with the quality they've bought. Hot. This is hypothetical, ladies and gentlemen. 
because Liverpool don't buy quality. And when they do, they don't buy enough of it. With some danger. So you know it's hypothetical. And he's put it away beautifully. But hypothetically, Liverpool buy Taylor Griffith players. They buy this guy, this guy, and this guy. They sort out all the problems. They buy great defenders. They buy. Hey, yeah. Well, he's DM him. They got a 30 40 goal. All this season striker. They got a. Uh, motherfucker of a goalkeeper who, who is, who just looks like he'll save whatever the fuck is shot at him. And they spend all that money. What? I don't think we expected this. Such Ideally, you would think EA would have to do FIFA. I keep saying EA. He, he, I, 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 uh, can get that mixed up. I don't care. But FIFA, you know, you you think FIFA, okay, FIFA are going to step in here. Nope, slap on the wrist. Pretty much. The interceptor got it for them. Even if that is a free kick. They did something more severe like a, a transfer ban. for a change of personnel. At that point, they have the player Liverpool would have the players anyway. So Yeah, <laughs> Th thanks for the transfer ban. We'll, we'll uh, use the great players that we have and just just work with them. I mean, if you buy need the right amount of quality, you, you'll get your reward. You only sing when you're winning. Well, they're winning, but they do plenty of singing when they're not. Well, they're known for it, aren't they? And so it's it's a, it's actually kind of hilarious. It spurred them on to victory. Oh, the wide man can. That it's you know practically. And it, you can get away with breaking the rules. Work. You can. And. <laughs> even if they give you a transfer for ban, the players are still there. They're all registered. There's nothing they can do about that. Yeah, like you can't change the rules on a win. Him for, for one. Good football between these he, two. He, no matter how much you hate them. This has been called a football match, but it hasn't been much of a match up between the two sides. Guided through. Looks the goalkeeper in the eye. That's a and even if you goal. try and change the rules, the so, say the, play. the players have to go back to, to the. Patrick. The team they were bought from, or they have, they can't play until the transfer ban is up. Well, Alan, maybe that's You're practically outing yourself as having an agenda. Yeah, and uh, he'll be taking home that match ball with a great deal of pride. So, fuck, financial fair play. It doesn't matter. Little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game. But the team leading deserve the margin of what's going to be a very comfortable victory. Really getting at the opposition this far up the pitch now. Real chance. He's hit the frame of the goal. Cleared away, well away from goal. Dembele. Shot. Keeper's done very well here. Corner kick coming up. Anyway, uh, it's wonderful work from the goalkeeper ben, again from the header. Well, he was on his toes. Went off a little uh, Good tendent there. For have to keep my focus here on. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional. And Neil ties. Uh, beat Paris FC 4 0. Very comfortable win. Six wins from six, I think that gives me. Liga 2. Really? Was there 2 to a 0. Because we had a. Lossy 1. Valenciennes 0. We had a cup game. Long 1. In between. Lorient 1. Yep. Stade de Reims. Look at that. I'm already six Stade points ahead of my one. nearest 
Let's have a look at well, what those results the, mean. There's a couple of teams the, the teams the from two to, to five all have the same amount of points. In second, wow, with twelve points. In third, or there with twelve points. In fourth, I mean PSG with twelve if points. PSG in does seven, by the Paris I think maybe I'll be uh, in blessing seven, in the sky. With ten points. In eighth, long with ten points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Valenciennes, with one point. I don't understand what they define as a good run. He's always likely been banging them in. Chateau with five like he's a Messi or Ronaldo. I mean, you'd expect someone with the name Dembele to be worth a hundred fucking million. Which, uh... Is not the case. I don't even know if your man played. I didn't pay much attention to whether he did or didn't. I mean, I don't care. But, you know, if he did play, I didn't notice him, so... There's that. U.S. Or Orleans. I get the feeling these guys, his uh, club name is a joke. I know it's their actual name, but I, I feel like it's a joke every time I see it. Because it, it just, it, it looks like they're, the, the, Alan Smith alongside me, Martin. Tyler. They're practically a, a tribute to the, uh, to, to New Orleans in the USA, because they practically have, they have Orleans and US. So here's the kickoff. The game is underway. Sit back and enjoy. I would, I would be a lot more. Well, this is how the home team shape. I would be. Uh, well, we've gone with a four. There is a lot more eyebrows, especially if, if, uh, if they wore like stripes and wore red and, and white and blue. Decide to come over all defensive this team, but uh, if they're on the front foot, that three up front can cause the opposition back four some problems. Oh, that would uh, that would look awful. He looked to be football jersey. No disrespect to the uh, to any Americans watching me. It just tried to be a bit too clever from close in. Yeah, it doesn't. It might work for a suit for uh, what's his name team in the division, but that defense will be put to the test here. It's that uh, That's some good guy they use in the, back and the military. Great understanding across that back line. Sam, getting forward well as a what's team now. Here are I'm thinking he's semi Sam, but he, he's a little bit just character. Skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes. Father Sam, Father Sam, that's it. A uh, 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 starting choice soup might work for him, but as a football jersey. Now they've got a chance um, in this part oh. of the pitch. Maybe, maybe it could be designed to work. Tough ask for the visiting team today because the home side have won their last You'd have to wonder, would they have well, to start? Full of confidence. And you could have 25 on one side. Offside is the call. We can see it again, which of course the officials can't. <laughs> they get one chance and that he's done work. well with his chance. He's made the, the correct call. Well, I like the look of this mean. attack. Comes the challenge. Could have it all over the trip. I don't know where you'd have them all together. That's very good defending, and the player had nowhere to go. Anyway, I, 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 work, I learned um, not too recently, actually today, that you're not even supposed to work clothing with the. That's put it out. It's in the, the corner. The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. That's where I'm looking for. 
Design? Is that, is that the right word I'm looking for? Probably not even close to the right word I'm looking for. But, uh, I was watching a comedian, Russell Howard, who was talking about the beloved who played the same leader of America, Mr. Donald Trump. I mean, isn't he great? I don't have enough sarcasm in the world to make this believable. Um, <laughs> and that was a truly fabulous goal. Well, coming in from the right, that he was, was talking so about um, the uh, American players, the, Af just the, uh, to the, the African American players who uh, so in, in playing American football. Oh, who didn't stand, who were kneeling um, for the the national anthem. They knelt during the uh, national anthem. And it's Trump was saying bird. they should be well, they fired and they were a son of a bitch. Well, they've all gone to the defender to say, well done. But, uh, but I think the guy who had the chance really should have scored. Well, he had what the, the to, uh, What Russell Howard away. didn't mean is that no, he had to take it quickly. Should brought them pay attention. I didn't know this. But uh, apparently... It's in like the Charter of America or something. That you're actually not supposed to wear the flag. It's not supposed to be worn. It's not supposed to be used in advertising. Which is hilarious because, you know, if, if you look at advertising in America, a lot of it uses the American flag. No one seems to give a shit. Someone should uh, freaking read that charter other than. A, a British comedian and really should have worked the keeper more than that who has no affiliation with America rather than talking about them in, a, Absolutely no in, a, the in his uh, new TV Save show that shot from distance trying to stretch the opposition using the wider areas here so uh, not only would it look bad it Miscued really with it just, this yeah, wouldn't look right. Not that it would look bad. I mean, other the team, team, all oh, a lot of teams really wear stripes. Oh, actually, class. I think am I wearing stripes? I can't tell if they're sure it's stripes. There will be three it has black minutes ones. here. Probing it's black on the sleeves. I can't the tell if they're. The textbook save. It kind of looks like there's a stripe. Down in the middle. I will have a closer look, but you know I'm a little bit attack now. Stop it. Could name a just as well. Teams off the top of your head at one nil. A lot of teams, teams in the Premier League. You have South. Well, I wonder Hampton. whether the second half is going to mm, be the difference red between red the two of them, Alan. But at the moment, Celtic it's really were green and white. AC Milan in red and black. Switch from a manager that changes the course of this match. Um, Barcelona blue and red, so, which would probably be the closest thing you have. And then I'm the only team that wear blue. Tough one. test this for the players in the second half and the referee as well who might have a big decision to make. At the moment he says we can play on, but that might be in doubt as the second half wears off. Maybe I'm thinking of an Anyway, um plenty of width for the yeah. team to attack into. Must score! So there's things that have worn stripes to uh and they've worked very hard success. Those are just sum up the top of the end of the match, we'll see. Well, that's an awesome yeah, goal. Yeah. Well, he could yeah. hardly miss that from the right wing. Uh, that was a perfect delivery. And they got their reward for it's it. It's not exactly a full start. Well, it doesn't it? look Just like it goes across the middle. It looks like it's only on the back. Which is uh, an interesting design, to say the least. And my guys, they're, they're blind with just, just white. Just white. Promising build-up. Until that chance. We want to blend in with the ball. Out wide here. Chance to get some width into this attack. It's a. Uh, it's enough. Well, that is a free kick. I think to talk about. I know. But, uh, the most of that decision. I don't want to be quiet during the games. I'm trying to come up with things to talk about. Anything interesting or 
football, really. Yeah. Have a go, the crowd is uh, uh, um, not to be, move is broken to, down. Uh, have that as a challenge. Yeah. Well, now they've won the ball back in the middle of the park by intercepting that pass. It's a good cross. Goalkeeper given an easy ride in that particular save, anyway. I go ooh, Aziz. Well, they're in a good position here. Still haven't uh, done the. Uh, and the cross goes towards the, the far the names, yeah. And he's put it away. A lot of the names I well, do not know how to archives, pronounce. Them. You'll see that this uh, player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is an act. And that was that team at their very best, Alan. Well, he's got a track record of that. On his left side, he's so dangerous. Oh, well, he's just wanted that more than his opposite number. It's a really good finish. One team really on their game today. The other very off-colour. Spotted that well and intercepted. And it takes a nick off the player, out for a throw. Well, that pass never looked like reaching its target, and they're away with Leon. the ball. Gassian. Into the attacking third. Put into the middle. Goes for it with a fist. It's a throw-in given. Oh, boy, Very throw. close to being a corner. Looking for teammates. Come on, good cross. Not exactly the cross I was hoping for. It's gone out for a throw. I'll take another throw. Well, it's a one change, and it looked. It could be a good ball. Oh. Difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. I was surprised he actually went for goal there, but uh, in the end, got the keeper a bit worried. Was good progress with this attack. Branch. Delivery to the far post. But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. He, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Sure, why not? Almost a 10 out of 10. Uh, certainly a candidate for man of the match. He's not going to play the whole match, though. Going to be substituted here now. Yeah, he was involved in most things that were good here for his team. Top class. I don't think there was any doubt from the players' point of view. He wanted to join Barcelona. Speaking the of... The deal is completed. The other Dembele's, I was speaking earlier, how you'd want to Dembele to be good enough to be worth four. Uh, it'd be great if it was worth 400 million. That would be better than 100. Wonderful chance! The most expensive player, some random dude from the second division of France, 33 years old. He's worth 400 million. What the hell, man? In the middle, cleared away, well away from goal. Well, he's got support here. Put him the area. There's still danger here after this half clearance. And in he goes with the tackle. Gomis probing the pass. Well, that breakaway did look dangerous. It's as well they've won the ball back. Ziani. And here's the shot. The keeper might be near again. He didn't hang on to the he's ball. In the name of three, bro. Well, definite goal, although he got Thing. good contact on the ball. <laughs> Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Yeah, that was never going in. Is the what this guy was doing? In any event, nice three now win keeps my he undefeated start to the season going. Liga de seven one league wins and one cup win. GFC Ajaxio two 
Claremont nailed. Which is uh, perfect because this is the dwarf two. episode. <laughs> Stand for S2. Ah. The Arv won. I completely. So, what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Chamberlain Norte FC with 21. Uh, what I do care about is that this is the end of the episode. With 12 points. In fourth, so it flew by, but. In fifth, there you go. With 12 points. In sixth, Stanford. Well, at least it flew by for me. It was all the talking. A Jack CO with. Anyway, um. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Next up. So, with one point. Fourth bottom, Chateau okay. with five points. Fifth bottom, two uh, with six points. Brest and Nimez. Excuse me. We uh another Two more episodes before we uh, have cup football again when I play top division side twos. I certainly don't want to lose to Toulouse. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Hey, that that was a bad one. Uh, uh, I, I think that sums up this episode. A bad pun. Yay! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Smash the like button and hit subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.